everybody, Sophie from our physiotherapist here. Um, today we're going to do a video that you've asked me for in the past, which is on how to foam roll. So obviously all you're going to really need is the foam roller, and find a good space at home. And if you've got one, a spiky ball, a tennis ball, golf ball, anything like that, because we'll also show you some ways of using that as well at the end. Um, foam rolling is good for promoting a bit of blood flow to the legs and to well to wherever you foam roll help break down tissue, really good for recovery after your hard sessions, after runs, cycles, etc. I like to do my foam rolling after sessions as well as before big sessions as well actually, so before track speed, I find it really helps me. I also do my foam rolling before I then go into stretch. Each people have their own preferences and there's a million different ways you can foam roll. There's nothing I can personally find to say exactly how long you should roll for, so I just go by feel. So, Yesterday I went on the bike so my quads are a bit sore today so that'll be more time spent on them for me today. Sometimes after track it's a lot more my hamstrings so just play it by ear yourselves and see how you feel and spend a bit longer each type, um, each muscle sorry. So today what we're going to do is we're going to work through all the muscle groups so we'll work into our calves to start with, into our hamstrings and a bit into our groin, a bit into the IT band, into our glutes, into our back and then we'll roll over into our quads. And like I say, we'll finish with a little bit on the ball to find some other muscle groups as well. I'm going to briefly run through each muscle group. So at any point, if you want to pause and stay on that muscle, by all means do. I, like I said, we can't spend hours on each muscle because otherwise the video would last far too long. So to start with, get yourself comfortable, get your foam roller. So I'll just show you on one leg, so save us doing, like I said, everything and making the video ages. So what I would do is literally have the one leg on the roller, use your other leg just to balance you on the side. Personally, I prop myself up using my arms and then I roll. What I don't do is roll the whole leg like this. What I find more beneficial is to find a spot and just work side up and down and then side to side. So use your hips and your momentum of your body to roll side to side. Work up a bit more, move it up and down, again side to side and so forth. So just gradually work your muscle. You might find I can find a trigger point there, so I can find a little bit like a knotty muscle. So I would personally work a little bit longer on that point there. If you can't feel this working, then what I would do would be prop the other leg on top of the foot just to apply a bit more pressure through the body. Or you can even use it here. So it just puts a little bit more pressure through. If however that's too much and your arms aren't strong enough, then there's nothing wrong with still just placing your bum on the floor and just doing the same principle. So forwards and backwards, side to side. So as we go up, we'll work up and down, side to side, through all that calf muscle. All the way through, so you get all the inner muscle done, right the way around, and the outer calf and the perineal muscles done as well. So really make sure your foot gets that full rotation from in to middle to out. Good. Then what we do, start under the knee. I want to go right in the crease, I'll just come slightly above and then we'd work into these hamstrings exactly the same principle so bit by bit forwards and back side to side then i would maybe just move to the side slightly and just stay on there for a little while and then into the inside and so forth working up the hamstring a bit more forwards and back side to side so you can see i'm not just rolling the big movements and not really achieving much i'm just doing little by little into each section. If you find a spot, stay on that spot. While we're here though, what we can do, now I'm just going to swap onto the right leg just so you can see, is from here we then roll right the way around and then so my feet are now facing forwards so I'm kind of on my side more or less and then I can get my groin involved as well. So from here I can literally go forwards and backwards through each little bit. So section by section, rotating round as we go. So we'll do that one. Then what we do, I'm just swapping legs again just to show you so you can see on the camera. So I've done my groin, I've done all the way through my hamstring. Then I would just roll across this way. So I'm going to get my IT band. What I find works to stabilise myself is take the other leg across. Then I'm just feeding that leg through. Again, bit by bit up and down, following the fibres of the tissue. There's a lot of controversy regarding IT band rolling, because obviously you'll hear the IT band isn't a muscle, the muscle itself comes up higher into the TFL. However, I still believe that there's a lot of benefit in rolling the IT band in terms of fascial release, soft tissue release, 
Bear in mind, everything joins into each other in the human body. So if we can release every part of the tissue, release tension in the body, it looks like we're doing something wrong at all. So once we've done bit by bit through IT round, we go back. Like I say, you'll obviously work each leg, each leg. And once we've done our hamstrings, done our groins, done our IT bands, I would then work up into our glutes. From here, you can just do both at the same time. Personally, I don't feel masses when I do that. If you do, then that's fine. Otherwise, you can go into a figure of four, so crossing your ankle onto your knee, and then just roll slightly so that you're just favouring one glute. So just one of my bum cheeks is on the roller. From here, just working again, forwards and backwards, side to side. Use the roller to move through that muscle group. You yourself might find certain spots. So just stay on that spot and work through. The little trick I quite like is using the end of the roller. So I get towards the end and then same principle, ankle on here and then you just get a little bit more deeper roll into the glutes. It's obviously such a big thick muscle. So I can really get into the glute med, which is right next to the bony part of my hip here. Good. Once we feel we've done enough for our glutes, like I said, you work in your own time. Then we move into our back. So really important, our postural muscles right across the back here. So your QL, getting used all day, is really important, especially if you're sitting down a lot at the minute at home in different desks, different chairs. So what we would do is just slowly rolling up and over. So just round and through. Then what we can do is literally drop right the way down onto our shoulders. So in this kind of bridge position, and then just rolling side to side, rocking your knees side to side. And then you'll feel a little bit more into the QL. Again, if this is too much of a stretch for you, just bring yourself back up and work this range here. Moving it up into your thoracic, mid back. So what I like to do for your thoracic, again, up and down, we can roll side to side. However, I think it's quite nice if we just cross our hands and add a bit of movement in as well. So just side to side, up and down. Good, and then you can roll right the way up into your shoulders and into your neck. Really open up your, open up your chest as well. Another way you can sometimes do it is if you turn the roller so it now follows the length of your spine and then roll onto it this way, keeping your arms nice and stretched. And you can get the little muscles, so like your multiplicus, the little spinal muscles, your inter yeah, and you get the vertebral muscles. So really working through there as well. Perfect. So, like I say, take your time, work through each of them muscle groups. Once you've done them ones, we obviously need to work the quads as well, so then I would roll over. And from here, I would start at the bottom again, so place the roller towards my knees, and then I'm just going to drop forwards into kind of like a plank position. So again, I've got the weight through my arms here, and I just slowly roll. You should all be getting the technique now, forwards and backwards, and then side to side. With your quads, you can do two together, like I am here. You can have your knees bent and work here, or you can straighten them and work the range. As you go through, little by little, or you can just really concentrate on one so you can get rid of the other leg, and then so you can use your leg just to stabilize on the floor. And now I've only got my left leg working, I can roll through that left leg all the way through. Like I said, I think doing two of these is actually quite good anyway, so all the way through, really rotating, rotating through and through. Don't forget when you get all the way up, so bit by bit, forwards, backwards, side to side, and then don't forget to get right up into your hip flexors as well, and then all the way through, side to side here as well. So bring yourself back up, and then last but not least, a couple of bit of trigger points for you, so you can use anything you've got, spiky balls, massage balls, You've got golf balls, tennis balls, anything like that whatsoever you've got hold of. So for the purpose of today, I'm just going to use one of those spiky balls. And 
three different areas I'd use this especially for. Number one, my glute and piriformis. So hip bone, sacrum, so the base of your spine here. What we want to do is find a diagonal coming between the two here to here, and then this is pretty much your piriformis muscle. A lot of us will have heard this before and get a lot of lovely trigger points. So all you would do is you place the ball into here. You can do this in standing, which will give you less, or literally placing it underneath your bum and rolling on it this way. So again, side to side, forwards and backwards. You'll find a spot, so if I can find a trigger point there, I can just literally press on it. I can then take that leg up and down, side to side. So now my body's not doing the work, but my leg's doing the work for me. I can really feel that starting to release all through my glutes. Good, next trigger point would be into our QL, so the fleshy bit in between our ribs and our hips. So if we have our hands on our hips and then just come up slightly and you'll feel your ribs and there's a lovely meaty section in there. Place the ball in there and then same principle, lying on your back and we just roll, we can rock our knees side to side and just really start to work that QL. If you want to get a bit more of a stretch, take the same arm up and over. Good. And up and over. Perfect. And last but not least, our tibialis anterior, so the muscle that runs lovely down this shin here. So right in the front. Really important in, well it's used all day in walking in order to lift our feet up. So we don't drag our feet, so we use it a lot in hiking or in hill running. Um, and it's actually quite a common one in terms of shin splints and things like that. So if you're just taking up running or you're starting running more, do more speed work, more track work, anything like that, you can sometimes get a bit of new pain down the fronts of your shins. So grab your ball and all you would do would use your hand this time, same principle as all the foam rolling, side to side, up and down, side to side, up and down, all the way through this muscle. And if you just, if you can't find the muscle, if you just move your toes up and down, you'll see this muscle down the front here. So it's right on the front of the shin, but just towards the outside. And you would work all the way through this muscle group as well. And that's it for you guys. So take your time, watch each clip as you need to. Um, like I said, foam roller, spiky ball if you've got one, that's all you need and that will give you everything be able to foam roll the whole of the legs, keep us nice and supple, and then don't forget to stretch afterwards. Enjoy!